Did somebody say Santiago? Morning, folks. It's day two. It is 7 a.m. and I'm on the streets of San Sebastián, heading out. Just need to find the beach, a problem I've never had in my past. Should be easy. I think I smell the ocean ahead. Yeah, that's the ocean. I suspect low tide. Anyways, so heading there now and uh, yeah, I just need to get the, get the heck out of Dodge. And finding the arrows has been, it's proven a little challenging. <laughs> I haven't found one yet inside the San Sebastian. So I'll be doing that, but I'll check back in as soon as I get back out on the road. Until then, when can we know? Decided to wait a little later to leave today. I typically leave early around 5.30 or 6, but I wanted to see the beach in the sunlight as opposed to walking in somewhere along the way experience the sunrise, which is also epic, but I've never committed the side of beach before, unless you count Finisterre, but nothing like this. No one's gonna hit those pilgrims. See them? Bright green. Sorry. <laughs> there you get stuff like that. Great town. I have to say, I feel like the odd man out here in uh, sunny, well, soon to be sunny, San Sebastian. It was appeared to me that everyone in this town, and I mean everyone, this is no hyperbole, this is no exaggeration, but everyone in this town jogs. Unless there's a jogging parade going on today, unannounced or unbeknownst to moi, uh, everyone jogs. See, there goes one right now. Guarantee you'll see three more. Oh, that's a, that's a slow jogger. It's like the walking cold versus the running flu. I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyways, folks. Yeah, so I'm still walking along this beach. It's beautiful. Look at that. It's like summer solstice and I'm Stonehenge. So can I do that? There we go. There we go. Oh. Yep, must be solstice. Anyways, so yeah, just an observation. There goes another jogger. They're everywhere. They're like motorcycles in the United States. I probably should stop talking and just keep walking. That's the great thing about talking, though. It's one word in front of the other. Uh -huh. Anyways, folks, I got to get back on that uh, Super Pilgrim Highway. And, oh, look, my sticks came in. Yes. Reunited, and it feels so bueno. Tan bueno. Anyways, clearly I need breakfast and a cup of coffee. I'll talk to you all soon. Shell Toucher checking in from San Sebastian. And the next time you see me, I'll be, well, somewhere else. Mm. One more time, Stonehenge. Shellhenge, do that. Boom. Greetings, folks. So I'm hiking out of town now. Whew, up the hill. Although I have to say I chose the alternative route today only because yesterday was so brutal and I want to give my body just a little bit of a break. I highly recommend you do that as well. And if you're training, let this be a, well, a tip. If you're training on hills, do them day after day in a consecutive manner just to see how your body can hang with that. Also, never trust the clothes drying opinions of a hospitalero Granted, I think it was a surf hostel I stayed at, but uh, they told me my clothes would dry within two hours if I hung them on the roof, 
which they were they were allowing me to do, so I'm very grateful for that. But I left them out all night because they did not dry. So now I have them all dangling off my backpack. Yeah, I mean, I'll do a photo shoot of that later on. That's sure to impress. Uh, I'm a walking clothesline. I am. And I'm proud to be such. Also, this alternative route, it ain't no slouch. It ain't no slouch, ladies and gentlemen. It's still a hill. Uh, gradual as it is, it's, uh, I'm feeling it. But it's a good warm-up, I think, for what's to come. The Lord only knows what's to come. Folks, it's, look at this. It's almost paradise. Yeah, it's gonna be tough leaving San Sebastian, but we're heading out. As I've mentioned probably several times, it's tough to get out of here. It just takes, it goes on and on and on. Yeah. I'm very much unlike the Frances. Uh, in regard to the landscape, getting out of towns so or cities and on the Frances can be equally difficult. But yeah, this is just like a, it's like a tropical paradise in Northern Spain. Who would have thunk? There it is. Would have been great to tie a, a hammock up. Did I just cover that with my hands? Would have been great to tie a hammock up and spend the night down there. There they are. And there it is. It's over the hedge. So I have to. <laughs> I got the cheap seats. Obstructed view. Well, folks, it really is idyllic hiking out of San Sebastian. And honestly, after yesterday, again, <laughs> it was hard, in a good way. And that was hard, not hard. It's good to be on tarmac or on tar, for my feet anyways, because it was so rocky and bouldery yesterday. And again, I, I didn't experience anything like that on the Frances, so this has been a total, total different, different beast. And I didn't finish my thought before about never trusting hospital literal. I say that in jest, by the way. But trust yourself when you've tested yourself. Or not necessarily yourself, but your clothes. That said, before hitting the Camino, weeks out, practice with all your clothes. And what I mean by that is practice washing them. You don't have to wash them with soap or anything like that. But just wet them, soak them. Uh, soak them, wring them out, and then hang them to dry. And don't do this on a necessarily sunny day. This test is really important on a rainy day or a damp day or a humid day. If you live in Arizona like I did before, it's tough to really get a, a bead on how your clothes are gonna react in Galicia or in Northern Spain, uh, Astoria in this case. But uh, but it is good to practice with them just to give you an idea how long it's gonna take them to dry in damp situations. That's super important. Do not test them out in the sun. It's not worth it. We know how they're gonna react in the sun. So it's just a waste of time. So, again, you know that way you know your clothes and how they're gonna react better than the hospitalero. And <laughs> thank you for attending my TED talk. Once again, back to the Camino. Look at that. I just wanna stick my toes in it. That's all. Just my toes. Please. Maybe the next next beach I get to. We'll see how that works out. Okay. The walking clothesline needs to sign off, but I'll be back, folks. Oh, I'll be back. Oh, that just sounds delicious. Maybe the next town, or maybe the town before that is Milk.
so you get an idea of what I look like <laughs> while filming this. There you go. If any of you who have tried my products or seen my products on our, our website, you, you'll recognize that, that silhouette rather quickly. <laughs> it looks like a, well, in my mind, it looks like a Roman legionnaire. However, we, we know what that looks like. It looks like a walking clothesline. I mean, I, ha I truly have all the components on me as a clothesline. In fact, I could be clothesline camouflage. <sighs> it's true. I had this epiphany on the Camino Frances. I'm only telling this now because Syria reminds me of where that transpired. And I was, you know, you never, some people are afraid that they're gonna run out of stuff to think about while walking. I'm not one of those people. That said, I mean, thoughts just come to you. I had this epiphany that plant pots for plants are like spacesuits to astronauts. Think about it, people. Think about it. Yeah, that kept me entertained for, for a long, long time. I also started to think about birds, too. It's like, imagine if birds, like everyone's like, oh, it's such a beautiful bird song. Oh, oh it's so sweet. Imagine if it, the, the, the words, though, I, I would only imagine them be tragic, because if you think about it, birds don't have an easy life. I mean, sure, they have to fly. I guess that's a good trade-off for everything else. I mean, at birth, they're eating, eating the regurgitated food out of their mother's mouth. It's disgusting. And then, on top of all of that, when they finally come of age, they have to build a house with their face. Okay. I don't want to keep you guys up at night any longer than I already will. I didn't intend to. Cracking up, people. Cracking up. This is only day two. Imagine how zany it's gonna be by the time we get to Santiago. This is the type of terrain for day one and day two of um, Camino del Norte. So if you have shoes like ultras that have a lot of trail feel, you probably wanna put in a good inner sole, an aftermarket inner sole like super feet, something with a, a carbon base plate. of some sort because yeah you just start to even with those you start to feel it after a while i also recommend lamb's wool that one works for cushion to your socks especially in the summer if you're wearing thinner socks lamb's wool will add some cushion then the landlord doesn't hurt either but yeah this is it this is awesome for a while yesterday was even more of this it's like walking on the back of a i don't know about pachydermy. Greetings, folks. I'm back. So I've been hiking for a bit. Stopped at the, the first open bar I found on the side of the road. Uh, a very welcoming place because it was a cult. That's right. I almost accidentally joined a cult. Again. <laughs> it turns out they're affiliated with the Delhi or I don't know. Maybe some of you've heard of them in the United States, but uh, this is one, a part of their community has set up a bar here catering to pilgrims. Yeah. Uh, I, if any of you have done festivals in the last like 30, 40 years, they typically set up a bus, the, the bus. And if you're having a bad time at the concert, nudge, nudge, wink, wink, they try to pull you on the bus and that's where they indoctrinate you. <laughs> well, they're nice folk, I'm sure, but it's cult nonetheless. And yeah, and they try, I was listening to them uh, try to do their cult things with pilgrims and the pilgrims just didn't get it. I had to pull them aside and be like, by the way, this is a cult, but try the tortilla. <laughs> they make a mean tortilla. No, they actually didn't even sell tortilla. That's how I knew it was a sham. <laughs> but no, nice folk, no doubt they're, their hearts are in the right place. They're in the right building, maybe just on the wrong floor. Yeah. Now, as you can see, this is where I'm at now. I also took the opportunity to change my socks again, since all my clothes are dangling from my backpack. I was like, oh, might as well change some dry socks. And they certainly were dry at this point. And I put powder and sheep's wool in there. This train is very new to me to be doing every day. It's very unlike the Frances. So I'm gonna treat my, really gonna pamper my feet this first week. And I recommend you do too. Uh, just under the, 
under your feet is where the lamb's hole does the best, obviously. But really making a bed under your feet, I've found for me anyways. Anyways, I'm about to pass this person so I don't wanna look like a maniac. But I'll be checking back in sooner than later. Más o menos. This is a time out of place. A place out of time. Or I'm out of time in this place, I don't know. It's something like that. Look at these freshly shorn sheep. The hills are alive. With alliteration. The hills are alive with the sound of cowbells on sheep. Cowbells on sheep. And there's the, the rolling highway. <laughs> this is great. The last time I was here, no, not here, but in Spain, on the Frances, it was always in spring, every time I've done it. And the grapevines are just starting around that time. But here, they're looking pretty good. I'm not gonna sample of anyone, anyone's grapes here. Aside from that, I don't know if they spray them with stuff. I always see videos where people are like eating grapes on the side of the road. It's like, geez, toxico. I hope they're washing it before they eat it, at the very least. Microvention? It's possible. Okay, and I apologize too. I didn't bring my mic with me. My my real deal mic. So I'm really relying on the, the phone to pick up all my important <laughs> uh, communiques, all my important uh, commentary. Look at that. They're like, they're not even freshly shorn there. Well, that guy is. But is he? They got like mohawks going on. This one, I don't know. They left on the bad stuff maybe? What's going on? This is this one's got a crazy look at this. Maybe they have alopecia. Maybe these are alopecia sheep. Look at that. It's bizarre. Poor little guys. Love you. <laughs> Get it? Okay, I'm done. Anyway, so yeah, almost joined a cult, uh, had some coffee. Free coffee on the cult. So that was good. That's what got me in. However, they didn't get me in, did they? Jumpsuits. If they had jumpsuits, I'd totally be all over that, but that's how you sell a cult. Jumpsuits. That might be a sheepdog going to work. He's about to punch in. There we go, folks. Where's... It's like a, re a knee-jerk reaction when I shout Buen Camino to just pretty much anyone. Like clearly he's not doing the Camino. He's doing the Tour de France, which I think is happening right now. At the same time, I take a shortcut. Can you do that? Okay. These signs, I don't know what it means. It's like, don't walk on pianos, or you can walk on pianos. If you're going to walk on a piano, make sure it's a piano that's at the base of a pyramid. What's it mean? Okay, there's the trail. It's continuing across the road. I don't know how the ancient pilgrims did this without spray paint. Paso de peatones. And here we go, back into the woods. Okay, folks, I'm gonna put you away just because. Can I start calling you my pocket friends? No, that's just weird. Never mind. But 
I'm gonna put you back in my pocket now. Sorry, that, it's getting creepy. I, I gotta go, but I'll talk to you all real soon. Ciao. And coming out of a cave, Hula in German, and heading into San Martin. That just looks exhausting. It's always a damn hill. Okay, let's do this. And on that note, once again, I shall return you to my pocket. Yeah, you don't want to be out here, it's hot. It's 11.30, ciao. Oreo. Never have I craved Oreo more. Okay, I'm getting a heavy Spartacus vibe. This is like one of many crucifixes on the side of the road. A couple feet back there were three next to each other. It's getting Easter vibes. Yeah, here's another one. They look very old. And there's a cross on the cross. There's a cross hanging on the cross. It's like self-referential, very meta. No disrespect, just an observation. It's like redundant. Does that cancel itself out? I don't know. No, it's a plus. Okay, so it's like double positive. Here we go, here's another one. Hiding conveniently behind this side. Now, being a gringo, these signs confuse me too. It's like, is that telling me there's an observatory up ahead? Or... Yeah, look at another cross. Everywhere. Cross on the cross. There's, I see another one. There's one right over there too. comes from. Okay. Well, folks, it looks like I'm going to be doing a lot of this road walking through small villages, and I don't mind it, honestly. Quite enjoying it. It's a beautiful day. The breeze is... Whew, it's wonderful. And oh, this one looks relatively newer. Oh, and it's marble. It's got a marble thing going on. Upgrade it. Okay, folks. I'll be there. Oh, and here we go. Maybe they were like billboards for the cemetery. I don't know. I don't know. I can only speculate. Okay, I'm gonna sign off. It's getting weird again. Maybe there's a stamp in here. Executive Pilgrim. Okay, I don't know how many flights I'm going with. My God.
Here we go. Let's see if someone's waiting here. Oh, no kidding. I have to go back down there. that I was on the <laughs> I stopped for a snack and I was just retracing my steps which I th thought took me off the Camino but apparently I was on the Camino okay reason number 263 why you should never follow me <clears throat> I mean by all means follow me on Instagram and YouTube however in real time just be careful okay we're sending it off I may be drinking wine tonight. So, pretty close to Zavruts. I think I'm getting there within the hour. Probably within the next 10 minutes. Those of you that have been there that are watching this are probably saying, dude, you're there. Oh, yeah. I guess I am. Stwerky. Ladies and gentlemen, Zara Roots. Wow, it's a beach and a golf course. Yeah, that's a golf course. Where we're going. Reason, another reason why to use a smartwatch, folks, especially an Apple smartwatch, because uh, you don't have to constantly be looking at your phone to figure out where you're going. It transfers over to your watch. And that's especially helpful if you're filming like me. So, win, winning. My first Camino, I bought a fossil hybrid watch. I've never been into smartwatches before. You know, I'm kind of a classic guy, and the hybrid looked like a, it looked like a regular watch, but it had some smart features. Ugh, I just bit my tongue. Smart features. Um, but no, Apple does it right. I hate, you know, I hate to say it. Actually, I don't. It's awesome. Highly recommend it. Um, okay. I gotta get back to this. Get weird looks. Construction workers. Cat calls, even. Yeah, that's how they do it in Spain. Well, folks, yeah, it's happening again. I'm looking for curry. Zaruts. Zaruts. Quaker Zaruts. I don't know. But I'm told it's here. So I'm going to have to go check that out. Get back to you in my rating. I give last night's in San Sebastian, I'd say a five. One to ten. Five point five, maybe. I'm hoping this will be better. So, stay tuned for that. Okay, so it was Indian Tandoori Curry. curry. And, yeah, that place is legit. It's the only place in Zaroots, only Indian joint. And uh, they actually made a plate for me, custom. I was looking for China Sog, and they don't sell it here at all, ever. It's just that it wouldn't sell. But for me, that's why I like Indian restaurants. They'll actually take the time to work it out for you, or create it for you, customize it for you, whatever. They're uh, flexible. So that was really awesome. I highly recommend it if you're in Zarut. It was better than Bollywood last night in San Sebastian, by far. So I give this one an eight. Yeah, delicious. Okay, 
I gotta get back to that hostel before they close the door on me. Want to meet up?